Hi everybody, um, here is a video for the chapter 7 test review. Um, so the thing to know about multiplying radicals is that your index needs to be the same. And if your index is the same, all you have to do is multiply your radicands. So for a number 7, since it's the same index, I'm going to multiply the insides and I get a to the 6th, b to the 7th. And now I need to simplify. So since my index is 3, I'm looking for groups of 3. This may be something you can do in your head, but I just want to show it out. Group of 3, group of 3, group of 3, group of 3. So a times a gives me a squared. b times b gives me b squared. And what I have left is cube root of b. Make sure you remember to write your index. And for number 8, same index, so I'm going to combine them. I have 3 times 16 times c to the 4th, d to the 7th. Once again, I'm looking for a group of 3. I'm going to want to factor out my numbers completely. 3 is a factor. So don't forget about it. So I have the cube root of 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, c to the 4th, d to the 7th. So here's a group of 3 right here. And then Since I have c to the 4th, I know that that's one group of 3. d to the 7th has two groups of 3. And then what I have left over is this two, 3 times 2, which is 6. Since I took out a group of 3 here, this becomes a 1. So it's just c. And since I took out two groups of 3, this also becomes a 1, so that's just d. However, if you would like to expand these exponents to circle your groups of 3, that is totally fine as well. Um, when you're dividing, same rule, your index needs to be the same. Sometimes it's easier to divide first and then simplify, like for number 9. I know that 32 divided by 2 is just 16. And this makes it a little bit easier to simplify. I circle my groups of 3, and I get 2 cube root of 2. Um, but sometimes you have to simplify them separately. So I have, if I have the square root of 12a cubed, square root of b to the 7th, I'm going to factor out 12 really quick. Oops. Okay, and I look for my groups of 2. So here's one right here, and here's one right here. What I have left is 3a, and group of 2, group of 2, group of 2. So I have b cubed root b. And at this point, um, we hadn't talked about um, rationalizing the denominator, so we'll just leave it at here for now. Okay, um, adding and subtracting radicals. This one was a little bit more picky because your index and your radicand have to be the same, and if they are, all you need to do is add the numbers in front. Um, so if your radicands are not the same, what you need to do is factor them all out first. So I need to factor all of these.
Okay, I'm going to circle my groups of two. So here's a group of two. Oops, just noticed a mistake I made. So I'm going to add an extra two in there. Um, remember, when you bring these out front, you still have a 2 on the outside. So the outside is 2 times 2 times 2, root 2, minus 5 root 2, plus 3 times 3, root 2. So this gives us 8 root 2 minus 5 root 2, plus 9 root 2. And now since my index and the radicand are all the same, all I have to do is um, add or subtract the coefficient. So 8 minus 5 is 3, plus 9 is 12. So 12 root 2. Um, we talked about multiplying. So multiplying radicals, it's the same as anything else. Sometimes you have to FOIL things out or do the box method. I will do one of each. Remember, you multiply the outside numbers together and the inside numbers together. So 7 times 4 root 3 is 28 root 3. Negative 4 root 3 times 7 is negative 28 root 3. And their last two, it's going to be negative 16 root 9. And then we simplify where we can. So I see that these two cancel out. And I know that square root of 9 is 3. So my answer is just 1. Um, I want to remind you guys, if you have something squared, I really recommend rewriting it out like this so you remember to do FOIL or box method. I'm going to do box method for this one. So here I have 9 root 36, here I have 6 root 6, here I have 6 root 6, and here I have 4. So what I have is 9 root 36 plus 6 root 6 plus 6 root 6 plus 4. I know that I can simplify square root of 36, so I have 9 times 6, and I know that I can combine 6 root 6 and 6 root 6 to make 12 root 6, and 9 times 6 is 54, and 54 plus 4 is 58, so I have 58 plus 12 root 6. Um, sometimes you'll have to rationalize the denominator because remember, uh, you can never leave a radical in your denominator. So one type that we talked about was like this number 18 where you have to complete the groups or the group. So if I have square root of 8 over square root of 3, I know that in my denominator, I need a group of 2 because my index is 2. I have 1, 3, but to complete my group, I need another one. So I multiply it by um, square root of 3. So I get square root of 24 over square root of 9, which is square root of 24 over 3. So now my radical is gone, but I do need to simplify square root of 24. So it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 over 3. Here's my group of 2. So it equals 2 root 6 over 3. And then there were also problems like number 19 
where the way you clear your denominator from the radicals is to multiply by the conjugate. I'm going to erase to make some space. So remember, the conjugate, um, it's the same as your denominator, except the middle sign changes. So I'm going to multiply by 3 plus root 17. In the numerator, I'm going to have to distribute. And then in my denominator, I'm going to have to FOIL. minus square root of 289. Okay. Let's simplify and combine like terms. These two middle terms cancel out. I know that the square root of 289 is 17. And 9 minus 17 is just negative 8. Now you might notice um, that all of your terms, this, this, and this, are all divisible by 2. So in order to completely simplify, we do need to divide everything by 2. So we have 4 plus 3 root 17 over negative 4. And this is completely simplified. So to treat it like a normal fraction, if your numbers can be divided, make sure you do that. Um, okay, rewriting. So remember, this is where it was the inside out, inside out rule. And this one, you're literally just rewriting them. So if you're rewriting with to make an exponent or to make a radical, I like to give myself a blank radical, and then I do inside out. Out. So it's the cube root of x squared. Same thing here, my radical sign inside out. So it's just cube root of 27. Yes, that can be simplified, but this one, it just asks us to write it without rational exponents. So this is a fine answer. Um, if you're wanting to write it with rational exponents, start with your base. And here's the inside, here's the outside, so it's to the one-third. And for number 30, um, another way you could do number 30 is I want you to think of um, 32 as 2 to the 5th power. Let's just think of it like that. So we can do inside out 2 to the 5 thirds. That's just a different way of writing it. If you wanted to do 32 to the 1 third, that is not incorrect. I just want to show you a different way.